Welcome to the last day of Evie's Odd School. It's almost out for the summer or winter or whatever season you're watching this in. <laughs> We're going to get into some cute special effects hacks today. And I'm gonna be meeting with a special effects makeup artist. And hopefully he can make me look like I'm worth $100,000. <laughs> Welcome to my neighbor's house. With me today, I have the lovely Gage Monster. Yes, hello. What now, are we doing today? I, I kind of want to do like a flesh earring thing, so it almost looks like your earring is growing out of your skin. Or maybe even the baby is coming out of like a stretched down earlobe. A kind of stool. Thing. If you're okay, I wanna put a pair of plumped lip prosthetics on you. Yeah. You have juicy lips already, but listen. We can always Some of us more. are not that fortunate. So I brought a second pair for you to put on me afterward. I'm ready to dive in. So in order to achieve this effect, we're gonna use a third degree, which is an A and B silicone. Now they're activated by mixing equal parts of A and B together. And then we're gonna build up what we need around your earring, okay? Okay. Now you wanna make sure that you don't cross contaminate. So I cannot use this and dip it in so here. You can't just stick B in, B in the A? No, I mean, as much as we want to. Can you stick the D in the A? <laughs> D in the A, sure, but B in the A, I mean, I don't know what B is, but. <laughs> equal parts, yep. now squish them together and you have about a five minute working time with this, okay? Normally we would clean the skin first, but it's I'm all clean so already. so clean. Yeah, and as we're working it, we're gonna smooth it down around the edges of your ear. So now, we're letting the silicone set up. Now it might look a little strange because it's not the same tone as you, it's not anything just yet. I'm gonna start painting it. Nothing sticks to silicone, but, but silicone. silicone. So what I'm gonna do is take a sealer, which is called green marble sealer. Okay. It smells really odd. Okay, I'm gonna spray it on that part. We're gonna let it dry real quick. Okay, close your eyes. There you are. And now, while that dries, we have alcohol palettes. It's makeup that is only activated with 99% alcohol and deactivated. So it looks like this, and if you rub it, nothing comes nothing. off. Wow, so you, okay. you have to add 99% alcohol, which we'll do now. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Then it's activated. <laughs> Those Mix. were the most delicate squirts. Here we go. I'm just going to airbrush your skin tone down or something close to. Close enough. And plug your ear because I don't want to damage your eardrum. That's all drag is. It's just close enough. Uh, basically, an airbrush creates a very soft feel. So you can make yourself look like a damn cartoon. You can make yourself just super like, not a wrinkle, not a pore. And then I'm gonna just literally stick my finger in your hole. <laughs> it's okay, you had consent. I had to, <laughs> I had to do it. So now that's all kind of one solid color. And you don't really want that. You wanna break it up and put some other tones, even if you're not really noticing it to your naked eye. People, if they're up close or talking to you, will notice it. So now I'm gonna go in with like a lighter color. And we're gonna do a technique that's called spattering. So we take a chip brush, and then you get this really great thing where you can just do this and flick the color. Ooh. And what this does is it starts to do a buildup of tones. So we wanna do that with just a few different colors. We just wanna keep adding those layers, and that's what's really gonna help make it look like skin. I actually have no skin color. I'm, I'm entirely see-through. I have to paint that's... myself every morning. I was wondering what your secret was. I've been really inspired by special effects uh, ever since watching movies. <laughs> the reason I haven't delved into it is it's a whole nother art form on its own that does take a lot of learning. However, if I can just force myself to like rip off that Band-Aid, then I, I feel like I can expand the number of looks that I do and maybe just try and pull some more dramatic transformations since that's what drag is all about. And now we're gonna clean the little bubble the baby is in. Ooh, so many B words. <laughs> so I've loaded some red pink into my airbrush and I'm just gonna kind of go around where the baby is hanging out and make it a little bit pink and red. Ooh, it feels like somebody is blowing a little kiss in my ear. Whenever you feel that in the future, you'll go, Gage. I will. And you guys will notice a little bit of a shine 
silicone is shiny. Now we have anti-shine things to combat that and we also have translucent powders. That's what I use. This is the same technique I used on Violet Chachki for her flesh crown. Oh yeah, that's right, because you did her legendary flesh crown, right? I did her flesh crown look, yes, and I did Katya's burn makeup as well. Did you really? Yeah, for her, <laughs> her All Stars reunion show. So this is a good stopping point for me. I wanted to be like oh. a baby pushing out of your earlobe. Oh, so much work. Ah, come on out of me. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> Can you imagine little little babies falling out of you? You better be able to now. <laughs> so now I want to do the lips. Now we're gonna now we're gonna do lip jobs. Oh. So I'm gonna put these on you first. These are what we call transfer uh, prosthetics. They're made of glue. Okay. You can get these literally. I think they sell them at Spirit Halloween now. You're gonna peel. And then you're gonna take this and this and smash it on top of that. Smash her down. Go to town. Go to town. You wanna to cut it not in a straight line, kinda of do a squiggle around the top. You wanna to be careful, it's super sticky because it's made of glue. So girl, she's sticky. So then you wanna take a little bit of Prosade and you'll wanna put it on here. I put a little bit here and a little bit here. Right here, okay. So go ahead and take your middle finger, hold it. I'm gonna take a regular makeup puff and some water. So what the water is gonna do is gonna reactivate the sticky pad oh. on the paper. <laughs> now you'll notice that there's an edge. So you just take a Q-tip and you blend that edge down with some alcohol. Blender, blender, blender. Fun tip, this feels great on razor burn. Does it? <laughs> now it's really sticky, so you wanna take another puff and you wanna get some powder and you wanna press. Let's take a brush, let's brush her away. Who is she? So that's how you put the upper lip on. Are you ready to put my upper lip on? Let's see if a lady can do this. I think she can. You peel your lips off. You line it up the best you can, right? Right. Smash her down all the way around. Smash it down everywhere. And then you're gonna take these handy dandy scissors and instead of cutting a straight line like I would think. Yes, ziggy zaggy. Cool. You think that's beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Now you want to take glue. Some glue, some, some of this prosade, or prosade if you're that bitch. Do a thin layer on the lips themselves. Yes, ma'am. And I'm gonna delicately not glue your mustache hair. You. Exactly, <laughs> or you can, it's okay. Spread that out like it's some really terrible chapstick. Uh -huh. Oh, oh take it gonna, in. She's gonna take that in. I'm used to taking it in. <laughs> I hear that about you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I line her up the best I can. Yeah. And then I'm gonna dip her in some water. Yeah, you're gonna get her real saturated. It's literally like uh, a tattoo transfer. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna powder. And this takes all the stickiness away. I love your lip. Your lip's amazing. Um, thanks. I had a professional do it. Oh my god! Just the shows. top lip. It though. shows. You look like you went to the back alley. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom lip. She ready? Oh, oh, on the show for like that caftan look. I glued that crown on, and I could not get it off for the life of me. Like that crown was literally stuck to my head and I thought I was just gonna have to go home and sleep with like this crown stuck on my skull because I was pulling and I was bleeding and I was crying. And that's why you're not supposed to use super glue excessively, I guess. Like actually, because I glue my wigs down so much, I think, I feel like there's a crust right here. <laughs> Can you see it? This is my baby. <laughs> Push her down. Go to town. Tammy Brown. <laughs> she lives down here. There we go. Now, doesn't that just feel right? It does. It looks right. My bottom lip you're gonna do now, and then we'll paint each other's lips. If I had an appropriate allotted amount of time to achieve a dope special effects look. I'd be a dinosaur. I'd be a human dinosaur. That's what I would do. I'd like make 
more three-dimensional like dinosaur -y parts and then like weird teeth that jut out the side of my stuff. <laughs> wow. Oh, she looks. Wow, way better than my first time. So now I'm gonna teach you some drag. Yeah. Sure. So you always wanna line your lips first. So you're gonna go right where your lips meet your mustache hair. Oh yeah, <laughs> as a proper woman. And you fill it in with even more lipstick, but I'm gonna do a different color. I'm gonna give you this like shiny red so that it looks like you're wearing lip gloss it's already. Like a, a highlight. Make mm. sure you have lipstick on your teeth. Oh yeah. And she's a lady. She's a lady. Drag itself is special effects makeup because I do not look like this outside of drag and it is so special uh, that it has an effect. <laughs> awesome! Are we beautiful? Well, Gage, you have definitely closed out this series yeah, with a bang. I, I hope so. I hope that you can utilize some of these techniques in your drag. I and mean, people watching might just want to go out to go grocery shopping on a Tuesday. I can tell you one thing I'll be utilizing. Oh, <laughs> me too. <laughs>